ripples in my head and everything, and I was just like, thank God. I'm, yeah. I'm still here. That's right. Praise the Lord and pass the hot sauce. <laughs> pass the hot sauce is right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, that's a wonderful story, though. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. How, how parents have to persist mm -hmm. that we look for something a little further than what the ordinary is. Yes. You know? Absolutely. And I know myself in the practice of medicine, mm -hmm. uh, I never gave in to... Uh, just the history, but it has to be more than that. You have to look at the whole person, you know. In fact, to the point where many times I had to resort to prayer. Yes. You know, uh, to understand it. Many nights I woke up three, three o'clock in the morning and things would run through my head and I, I had to get up and write it down immediately so Absolutely. I wouldn't forget the next day mm -hmm. to question this patient about this thing or that thing that I might have missed. Yeah, that's yeah. how I am with rhymes and poems. I know. You know, sometimes a cool metaphor will pop in my head. Yeah, you have to get them. Two words that right? rhyme. Yeah, I'll roll over and grab my phone and, and uh, <laughs> type it in the notes section. Yeah, I, yeah I, I just did that the other, uh, other night. In fact, I'm writing a book right now, you know. Okay. And, uh, I want to know what the chapters should be and things mm -hmm. like this and so and it, it's not a it's a medical text it's a life text uh, with medicine included in it mm -hmm. you know so uh, showing how we all have medical conditions we don't even know about uh, yeah. or pre could predict we know people that die suddenly of a heart attack and it doesn't have a, your particular condition but they just have a a bad use of fats in their arteries. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? And yes. so, so I'm looking at you right now, and you, you just look good and healthy. Thank you. And you're feeling good. That's the main feeling thing. Feeling better. Better. Feeling yeah. better. That's you good. know, I'm not, I'm not 100%, but I'm way better than I was a year ago and a year before that. Yeah, and that's tremendous. There's a, a teacher at NYU named Dolores Krieger. Mm -hmm. She had therapeutic touch. Okay. And uh, she showed how we're just nothing but, nothing but electrons. Mm -hmm. That's all we are. In fact, my first test in chemistry at Brooklyn College was what holds up a bridge? And everybody drew the cables and this right. thing. And he said, and he gave us an hour to do the test. <laughs> so he said, I just wanted one word, an atom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> an <Right>. atom, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that holds up a bridge, mm -hmm. you know? Go ahead now. What, now, as far as your art and so forth, um, maybe you could recite something that you think would be showing that you're right here with us right now and, and can instruct us. Maybe, what's the name of the poem? Uh, staples. 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 Okay. Because my head <laughs> had to have some staples right. that stay okay. shut. Okay, right. Go ahead. You know. All right. Well, this is my song, Staples. This is uh, a cappella. Um, here it is. July 13th, 1998. Celebrating my birthday, but still I didn't feel so great. My equilibrium was off and I was mad tired. Head hurt and feeling out of it and uninspired. At first I didn't pay it any mind, because everybody gets a little headache from time to time. So I figured I'd shake it off and keep it moving. But as time went on, I noticed my situation wasn't improving. On my face I kept a frown, because it got to the point where I couldn't keep any food down. Sometimes I would lose the feeling in my hands. Couldn't keep it together for nothing, so I had to cancel my plans. On the surface I was cool, taking it in stride. But all the while, on the inside, I was petrified. My parents could no longer assume. That's when my dad said, get in the car. We're going to the emergency room. So now I'm praying God will keep me from harm. Laid up in a hospital bed with an IV in my arm. I can't begin to explain my aggravation. Surrounded by doctors, but no one can give me an explanation as to what was going on up in my body. I'm constantly hearing words like maybe, possibly, and probably. The doctors were ready to tell me goodbye. That's when my mama said, not until he gets an MRI. That's when the doctor saw it. A hemangioblastoma on my brain fixing to put me in a permanent coma. I just cried thinking I was in the last of my days. I had a grandfather renical who passed away from the same exact thing, so I never got to meet him. And now I'm thinking it won't be long before I greet him. Never doubt the word of a physician, but if I got to choose, I'll always go with mother's intuition. 
So as soon as my parents knew the deal, they got on the wire, had the word spreading like wildfire. I'm talking about from Virginia to, De to Delaware, New York to St. Croix. People sent in a prayers that got a smile on their baby boy. Basically, it wasn't my decision to make. I couldn't die. Simple as that. Make no mistake. I had my whole life ahead of me, and I'd be remiss if I wasn't around for mom, my dad, and my little sis. My procedure went according to plan. Some people don't make it through surgery, but here I stand, and I can't complain. Life's been good to me thus far, and I keep a fresh cut around my surgical scar. I went back to school, finished it, and got my degree, all on the strength of the fact that my people prayed for me. You were there to hold me down through all the pain and the strife. That makes twice that I owe you my life. Mom, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I'm, you. I'm glad you're a Kappa. Yes, me too. <laughs> me too. Yes, I, I, I love the noobs. I do. What about breaking up? Breaking up? What you mean? Oh, I have songs about that too. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to just do a little bit? Certainly, certainly. Um, this was this is a song called "Should Have Known Better," based on um, a crappy relationship that I went to that uh, I got into for all the wrong reasons. Um. Um. I'm in a heap, thinking about the company I used to keep. Baby got me losing sleep, cause I'm hurt deep. Taken into using good love making as the foundation for what proved to be a jacked up situation. Whenever she would call my name, I would run to her. Cause all I wanted to do was be up under her. She had me captive from sun up to sundown. Felt my soul shake when I made her love come down. Lips juicy, fat booty, hips curvy. Got my world topsy-turvy cause this chick is untrustworthy. Negative situations always take a good turn. And every day is an opportunity for you to learn. Mm. When you don't attack and just retreat, you admit defeat. But you can never see light without feeling some heat. I tell myself over and over that I won't sweat her. But deep inside I'm pissed cause I should have known better. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's just one verse, that's you okay. know, but it's a whole song, you know. Yeah, listen, here you got yourself a whole connection. Yeah. You know, maybe you talk about, we have about one minute to talk about connection. Certainly, certainly. And, our, mm -hmm. and, and of course, animated poems. Here, volume one. But volume one, and yes. so people will be able to pick this up also. Absolutely. You know. But Keith, I tell you, uh, time goes so fast. Yes. But I had to have you on. Mm -hmm. We'll do another show again, of course. But Absolutely, I, I'll be back. I, yeah, but I and I, I want to um, do something for you here at the hospital too, uh, as such, because um, it's so important to know how people with dis ease can bring it all together and make it easy <laughs> on yes. yourself. Absolutely, you know. And so, basically, it's a, just a pleasure having you here today. Uh, I was so impressed that night when you got up and recited, you walked up and down that thing and letting those people know who you were, you know. Yes. But now, do you have any other, uh, in a minute, plans for future employment of such? Well, um, I want to turn my writing and my poetry and my artistry from my hustle into my livelihood. That's good. That's the plan. All right. So, um, as a matter of fact, I just had a show last night up in Harlem okay. at Shrine. And uh, always making more and more connections, making, uh, you know, connecting with different people and different artists. Because right. I also produce. I'm a writer, MC, poet, producer. Right. You know, and uh, and that just means I make I make majority of the beats that I rap to. Oh yes, nice. and that that came out of necessity. Well, you you know what God gave you to is a good voice. <laughs> yes, and uh, <laughs> I thank God and I thank my father because right? my voice, you know, you hear me, you hear him. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I remember uh, I I have a um song that I'm uh putting that I'm gonna put out. I, I write so far ahead of myself. This is my second album, but I'm I'm already writing songs for my fifth. Oh wow! Yeah, I have a song. Um, now I'm letting the cat out the bag. I wanted to surprise my dad, but it's all right. I have a song that I'm right that I wrote that I've written for him where I say, um, after puberty hit, I got his vocal tone. People thought it was him every time I answered the phone, you know? So yeah. that's just one thing. Right. But uh, I remember like back when I was um, in junior high school, went from uh, the first year to the second year, that's when my voice really, you know, I went from this to this, <laughs> <laughs> you know? So um, I, I would answer the phone all the time, hello. Yeah, listen, brother Steve, this is such and such. I'm like, hold on, hold on, who is this? You wanna talk to him? All right, hold on, I'll get them for you. <laughs> and they're like, who does Keith? I'm like, yes. 
Boy, you sound just like your daddy. Oh, my goodness. You know. Yeah, and I yeah. say, I know. I, I'll, get, I'll get them for you. Hold on. You know, so. Um, well, Keith, I'll tell you, I didn't know that you were a capper. Yes, okay? sir. I didn't know that all what you have done. Mm -hmm. But you impressed me in five minutes, ten minutes at that thing. Thank so you. I say, if anybody I want to give a plaque to, <laughs> it's Keith. <laughs> it's Keith Richards. Absolutely. So I'm glad you got that hanging on your wall. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you. You know, and mm -hmm. and when you get your books and things together, we're gonna come back here and, uh, and and let the folks know where sure. you're going. You know. Sure. Okay, so, may, uh, I, may I may I do a shameless plug? Go ahead. Well, my name is Keith Richards. Okay. And as an artist, my name is Just Saying, as in I'm Just Saying. And the reason why I go by that name is because if you think about it, whenever you say I'm Just Saying, it's always followed by something that's true or something that somebody needs to hear. So that's what I try to give people that bottom line truth. So therefore, I'm Just Saying. And um, I've been doing my thing. I've been writing my entire life. And I've accomplished, I have two EPs two short albums, two full-length albums, and I have a book of my poetry, Animated Poems, Volume 1. And you can access all of these things at my website, www.justsayinmusic.com. J-U-S-T-M-S-A-Y-I-N-M-U-S-I-C.com. Peace and love. Thank, Thank you, Keith. Thank you. Happy brother. I hope you folks have really been inspired. I certainly have been inspired just by listening to him just a... Uh, a few seconds, a few minutes on the floor at the last uh, thing I went to. But uh, keep on keeping on, people, but make your doctor uh, give you a more, uh, better uh, history sometime. And uh, maybe they'll find out what you got. Absolutely. <laughs> you know? So I'll see you the next time. This is Dr. Dees and Keith Richards. Thank you. <laughs>